And this normally hangs in the AKC lobby. But now this 19th century oil painting of a St. Bernard and more than 100 others will be on display at the American Kennel Club's Museum of the Dog. We have all the, the, the great hits here. From terriers to poodles and everything in between. A work by a, a, an artist from Mexico who's actually known for his pottery. The museum's executive director says it's sure to please every dog and art lover. After all, it houses one of the largest collections of dog art in the world. Us sharing that with the rest of the world and the dog loving public in New York. The museum first opened in Manhattan in 1982, but eventually moved to St. Louis. After 32 years away, it's back. On the first floor, you'll find larger paintings like this one. This is a, a more contemporary painting. Hand painted by Christine Merrill in 1990. It's the puppy's photo op, sir, not yours. It portrays George H.W. and Barbara Bush's dog, Millie. There's also a photo booth on this floor. It takes a picture of the museum goers and then matches them up with a dog that's supposed to look like them. Upstairs, you'll find figurines and smaller paintings. This one dates back to the 1800s when painting dogs first became popular. It's been a part of the um, uh, art world for years. Um, it started with people painting portraits to memorialize ancestors. Now, man's best friends get their proper places on the walls of honor right here in New York. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. The museum opens February 8th and is located at the corner of Park Avenue and East 40th Street. General admission is $15 for adults and $5 for children.